Hi everyone, so um, I was in the mood for giving more advice, I guess, because the first part of advice was just on classes and majors and stuff, so I wanted to um, give you a little bit more, you know, things to keep in mind when you're preparing for dental school. So first off, if you can speak, okay, first off, disclaimer, again, I'm just a student, this is just from my experience, I'm not an advisor or anything, so um, keep an open mind and do your own research to see, like, what you should do or what you shouldn't do or what you should take or yeah you're smart people you can figure it out okay so first off if you can speak a different language that would be awesome like um i should have taken spanish in high school but i didn't so i speak english and vietnamese and spanish would like anywhere um any dental school would be really helpful so if you know spanish yes okay so aside from that Let's start with extracurriculars. So first off, the most, like one of the really important things is that you show that you have clinical experience. So that can range anywhere from shadowing, volunteering, being a dental assistant, being a you know dental lab tech. So you know you can always go to dentists that you know, like your family dentist, and say, hey, can I, you know, shadow you for a little while and make sure you keep track of your hours. And a lot of people that um, apply to dental school. Well, not a lot. Some people that apply to dental school don't even have any clinical experience, and that's kind of scary because you kind of want to know what you're getting into before you actually go there. So it's really bad if you don't know what you're doing, get to dental school and be like, oh, I have to put my hands in somebody's mouth? That's kind of gross, ugh. So you don't want that. So make sure you get lots of shadowing, lots of volunteering. If you can work as a dental assistant, you know, that's really good. Um, if you are more into like the lab tech thing, that's really good too. So try to get as many hours in as you can. Okay, um, another thing that you could do is research. I personally didn't do any research because there wasn't really anything that interested me. So it doesn't have to be science. It has, doesn't have to be dental related. It's just if you want to do research, that's another thing that you can um, do because that shows like your problem solving skills and everything and that's really good so if you get into research and that's something you enjoy doing then go ahead go for it more power to you okay another thing that dental school is looking for is leadership so leadership like president of a club you know you know um, role model you can do community service you know projects and stuff like that just show that you're a leader and you don't like just make up some clubs say oh I'm the president of that club because that doesn't really help so you know, if you can be like an academic advisor, not like a peer advisor or something, or something that shows that you have leadership. Um, another thing you should do is community service. Like I love community service. I read to little kids. I help with like I used to help with my family school. You know, stuff like that. Community service. Um, the more you do, the better because being a healthcare professional is about helping the community. So if you make that like a daily part, not a daily part, but like a part of your life then that's really good. I love community service. I love the way it makes you feel afterwards and it makes everyone else feel t better too. So um, there are like senior projects that you can go like help senior, like elderly people or like read to little kids or just any community service things that you like really enjoy. And don't just do it for like one or two times because that doesn't show anything. So like do find a project you like doing and continue to do it because that shows commitment and that shows that you really care about it, not like you're just doing it to put it on your application. And another extracurricular thing you should do is something that has to do with hand skills because as a dentist, you use your hands all the time. And if you don't have hand skills, then, you know, then it'll be really hard when you get into lab preclinical and you don't have like the dexterity. So um, pick up something that, you know, you can do with your hands. I used to draw. I still kind of draw here and there. Um, I make jewelry. I don't have any on me, but um, I make some jewelry. I do my nails, you know. Um, so anything that has to do with dexterity. So some people like automotives, like working on cars or model cars, model planes, um, you know, instruments. If you can play an instrument like the guitar or the piano, that's really good. Um, stuff like that so make sure you have hand skills because if you don't it'll be a little harder to pick up those things so if you're used to working with your hands then that's better um, for you to make that transition like take the skills that you have and put it into you know 
dental stuff. Okay. So I think that's pretty much on the extracurriculars. Um, those are big things that you should do, especially community service and leadership. And especially, I'm saying especially for everything, but the clinical experience is really um, ex important too. So start early and keep at it. Don't just do it for like a semester. So just keep at it. As for the DAT, okay, so for the DAT, it's broken up into four different, um, four different, what's it called, sections. Hi, Mom. Yeah. Mayday! Okay, it's dinner time, so I'll finish this up. So um, it's four different sections. You have the science, you have reading comprehension, quantitative reasoning, and perceptual ability, which is the PAT. So for science, you have Gen Chem, O Chem, and Biology. So Gen Chem and O Chem, there's only so many questions they can ask you. So make sure you get you like you take those seriously and you know what's uh, what they can ask you. Um, no endorsement given, but you can take like Kaplan class or a Princeton class, and uh, those can help you. I personally took Kaplan. No endorsement given. If you need a little help, you can like um, they have like uh, test taking tips and everything. So I, um, to study for it, don't slack off. Don't procrastinate. Don't wait until like the week before. Study as you go. Make sure you study Gen Chem and O Chem first because I think those are the easiest to learn and get down because there's, so, there's only so many things they can ask you. But for biology, they can ask you everything. Like histology, we had, I, like, I had two slides on my actual DAT, which was really weird. Um, they can ask you histology, they can ask you ecology, embryology, you know, just general biology, biochemistry, they can ask you anything. So you leave that towards the end and study as much as you can because there's no way you can study it all. So, but then don't forget the other things too. Reading comprehension is really important because um, it shows like you can retain information. So to do that, pick up scientific articles and read them and try to actually understand them instead of just browsing through or whatever. So read a lot. Quantitative reasoning, it's not as important. Oh, oh my god, I heard that you can now take a calculator into the DAT. I'm so jealous. When I took it, no calculators allowed. But um, work on your math. It's like, it's supposed to be easy, but it's really hard because you haven't seen it since like high school. So don't put that to the end because that even if you do really well in everything else and you get really crappy score, it'll bring your overall score down. So make sure you do, you know, average on that. And perceptual ability. So this one's different and um, it's different because it's nothing you've seen before. They're like puzzles, visual puzzles that you have to solve. So um, uh, there are a couple books. There's a book. I didn't use it because I didn't have that much problems with the PAT. But I heard that crack dat crack D A T P A T um, is really helpful. I don't know if it helps or not because I didn't use it, so I can't say. But a lot of my friends said so. And also, books that you can um, use for practicing for the D A T is the D A T Destroyer. It's a really expensive book. I didn't use it, but my friends swear by it, so you might want to check that out. And also you can get practice tests. So not if you take the Kaplan, they give you some practice tests. But there are also other practice tests, such as DAT Achiever and Top Score. So I will post the links in the bar below, box below or whatever, and you can check those out. So no endorsement given. It's just some of the things that um, I used and I, it helped me so maybe it'll help you too but if that's like a quick overview if you have any questions let me know and I am going to go eat dinner now okay bye